I want to talk to you guys about the power of making a decision and having a commitment and having a really clear why, like a reason that truly motivates you and drives you forward and how that can make all the difference in anything that you're setting out to do. You guys are new here or don't know me. My name's Elena. I'm a certified health and life coach. I really help women feel more empowered, more confident, more in control in health and life. So I want to talk about this because I recently was diagnosed with alopecia areata, which means I'm literally losing hair out of my head. If you guys know me at all, you know that I love my hair. So it's very sad. Um, I have a huge bald spot in back of my head right now. So I recently decided, um, based on just a lot of research and knowledge that I have from past situations to do the AIP diet to help just reduce all the inflammation in my body because it's usually triggered by stress and anything in inflammatory can, can reactivate your immune system causing you to lose more hair. Give a super small snapshot of it. You are having clean protein sources. So like your chicken, your beef, your fish, um, no eggs even. You are having fruits and vegetables, no nightshades. So having a select grouping of healthy fats. So, so you're having avocado, coconut, coconut oil, avocado oil and olive oil. So no nuts or seeds, which my diet before was probably like 20% nuts and seeds. So that was challenging for me to cut out. There is also no coffee on the AIP protocol, decaf or regular. My point of this video is to talk about, talk about I was able to do this because of I made a full decision to do it and a full commitment to go in and do it. Any time that we have actually accomplished something and gotten a result from it, if we think about it, it usually is because we made a full decision to do it. I always give the example when I was in college, like I don't, and if I had an early class, like at 9 a.m., it was a struggle for me to get to a class at 9 a.m. back then. And the night before, it would either I'd make a decision to go and I would be committed to go, or I'd be like, mm, we'll see. Every single time I was that way, I would not go. There was no decision, there was no commitment. Of course, I was just not gonna set my alarm clock and just not wake up, and that is what happened most of the time. But when we make that fa solid final decision and that commitment to go all in and we're gonna do it, it takes away so much of that drama when you're in the moment. When I'm out at restaurants and there's drinks and there's my favorite foods and there's my daughter at pancakes and they ordered pizza the day before, a day after I started this, and of course it looked the best it ever did, but like there, it was a non-negotiable. I was not having any because I had already made the decision and it leads to the second point, having such a strong reason for doing it. Because first you make that decision, you make that commitment, but then every time you're put in a situation, your brain is kind of gonna try to give you all of the reasons to go against it because it's easier. It's easier to eat the pizza. It's easier to eat the pancakes. That's what you're used to doing. Your brain likes consistency and efficiency. It's gonna try to keep pulling you back to that place, especially in the beginning. But every time you can remind it of your strong why and you actually can create that feeling of that determination, that commitment, that focus, like I was able to do because my reason was, no, I'm gonna do everything I can to take the best care of my body to get my hair to grow back. That is my why. And it's so strong that like no drink, no food is more important than that to me. So anytime you guys are going after anything, whether it's you know for weight loss, health, business, any of the things, Make sure that you have those two things, that you have made a solid decision, that you are all in. And if not, start there. Why haven't you? Do you really want to? Is it a priority? Or do you just need to do some work on actually making that decision? Make sure you have a full commitment. And then make sure that your reason for doing it, it is your intrinsic motivation, but I hate saying motivation because we don't always have it and we don't always need it. But that is what you're going to bring along with you and remind yourself of every single day. Make sure, sure that is so strong that that feeling that you get when you remind yourself of it, it pushes you forward and doesn't just keep you where you are. It's kind of like, mm, doesn't really do anything for me. I'm telling you, every single time my favorite things are around, I'm just like, it is a no, it is a no go. Like it is a non-negotiable that I'm going to continue with this because it's that important to me. It's that high of a priority. My why is that strong, and I've, I have already made that decision with my prefrontal cortex, our logical decision-making portion of our brain. So when I get in the moment, and it's our primal brain that tries to take over and wants all the things, wants all the food and the drinks, it's like no, we've already decided, and we're definitely sticking to this. So hope this was helpful for anyone. Let me know if you have any questions.